hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that thumbs up button for me as well I really would appreciate it in today's video I want to talk about real estate and investing in the stock market and let you guys know how I feel about both and which one I prefer hopefully that will help you try to determine whether you'll do both or whether you'll pick investing in the stock market or investing in real estate over my 20 years of investing they both have served me pretty well when I think about real estate I think about my cash on cash return cash on cash return is simply your initial investment in the property compared to the cash flow of the property for example if i put one hundred thousand dollars down on a one million dollar property then i have a hundred thousand dollars invested in that one million dollar property i go to a bank and i get the other nine hundred thousand dollars in the form of a loan when I look at the cash flow of the property I'm looking at the rental income minus my expenses for the property then I take my cash flow and I divide that by my initial investment and that will give me my cash on cash return and in most cases you should be between eight percent and 12% on your cash on cash return. No sense of getting a 7% or less cash on cash return on real estate. You can certainly take that money and invest it elsewhere and get a better return than that. When we think about investing in the stock market, at least for me, what I think about is index funds. So I look to invest in index funds that track the S&P 500. Now I know over the last 90 years by doing some research, the average rate of return on the S&P 500 has been between eight and 10%. That's what I want to invest in. Index funds that track the S&P so I can get that eight to 10% average return. Now I will tell you over the last 10 years, the S&P has returned about a 15% return. That's pretty good. So I like both. One of the advantages of real estate is I get to control my property. I get to control how much cash flow I can make. Whereas when I'm investing in an index fund, I have no control of the performance of that index fund. All I have to go on is the history or the historical performance of that index fund in order to give me an indication what I can expect as future performance of that index fund. One of the plus for investing in index funds though is that I don't have to worry about toilets or tenants. I can get a nice 8 to 10 percent return doing nothing other than just simply pressing a button, transferring my money into that index fund and I'm done. Investing in the stock market is my investment of choice. And the reason I pick investing in the stock market is because of the passive nature of that investment. I do not have to do anything at all when it comes to investing in my index funds or my individual stocks. Like I said, all I got to do is just press a button and I'm going to get an 8 to 10% return, at least historically that's the return i've gotten on my index funds now my stocks are a little bit different because yeah you know they're individual stocks i again can't control how a company decides to run their business but the stocks that i am in right now they're down but i do believe in the long run they'll be winners so i'm gonna stay the course but the bulk of my investments are in index funds and they have done extremely well over the last 20 years on the real estate side 
Although it's not my preferred investment of choice, I have made quite a bit of money in real estate. You know, I built a real estate portfolio for over 20 years. The purpose of building that real estate portfolio was not to get cash flow. It really was to get the capital appreciation on the properties, right? Over a long period of time. Three ways you make money, in my opinion, on real estate. You make it from capital appreciation, you make it from the rental income, and you can also make it through depreciation. On the index fund investing side, there are two ways you can make money. You can make money through dividends if that particular index fund pays a dividend. You can also make money through appreciation of your initial investment over time. So three ways to make money in real estate, two ways to make money in the stock market in my opinion. Real estate has the edge as it relates to the different ways you can make money in that particular investment. But nevertheless, it comes down to what you guys want. Do you want hands-on, dealing with real estate, dealing with tenants, dealing with toilets, but the ability to make three different types of income and build wealth or do you want to go the really, really passive way, which is investing in index funds that track the S&P 500 for growth? And if they pay a dividend, you'll get income that way as well, that you can either reinvest into more index funds or you can take it as income. That's up to you. I did both and I'm happy I did. Question is, which one will you do or will you do both? I certainly recommend you guys consider doing both, man. At this particular time, I think they're both still great opportunities. Um, real estate obviously is gonna be a little bit longer because the only time you truly, truly receive the full potential and the full income of a rental property is when you own it free and clear and you don't have any mortgages on it. So if you got mortgages on it, you're only really realizing a small, income potential from that property. You gotta pay those mortgages off and then you can get that full impact. And that's something that I wasn't, like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't interested in doing that. I was just interested in the appreciation of the property. So that's how I built my real estate business is based on appreciation. Now don't get me wrong, I did get cash flow, but that cash flow basically covered the property's expenses and I reinvested that cash flow back into buying more properties. And then at a certain point, I started liquidating those properties taking those profits and then putting them in the market so that I could continue to grow my wealth. As it relates to those index funds, wow, they have served me well. They have done extremely well over the years and I'm gonna continue putting money in index funds probably for the next 10 years. And when I say index funds, again, I'm talking about index funds that track the S&P. Uh, there are a lot of other index funds out there, but I'm only specifically talking about the growth index funds, which is the S&P 500, the total stock market type of index funds. I hope that kind of cleared up what I think about real estate investing and what I think about stock market investing, which is index fund investing in my case as well. And hopefully this will help you guys as you decide which one is right for you. If you want my advice and you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me about those two investment vehicles, you certainly can do that. I have a company called RF Financial Consulting. There's a email address in the description box of this video. Send me an email or you can DM me on Instagram and let's see if what I do and what I have to offer appeals to you. And if it does, then we can go from there and we can have a one-on-one -on -one session together and we can talk about both of these investment vehicles in more detail. Well, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and smash that thumbs up button for me. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.